that you were out of a good chunk of change, but now new technology is letting you track your lost or stolen gadgets. Our technology contributor, Becky Worley, joins us from San Francisco to show us how it's done. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Robin. You're right. You know, whether it's a web browser on your cell phone or iPods that download music, almost all of our devices these days are connected to the Internet. And that's making it easier for some theft victims to get their gadgets back. Oh, wow. Go kick the ball. Allison Dillazon is a working mom who loves to take pictures of her son, Will. But earlier this year, her camera bag was left in a Florida restaurant. Over $1,500 of equipment lost. I called the restaurant and I said, please, you know, everything was in that bag. My small camera, my big camera, my video camera, videotapes, everything you could think of was in one bag. But no one had turned in the cameras. It was a loss, you know, not only the memories, but monetarily everything. We were kind of like, this is horrible. It sucks. Then a few days later, something odd happened. All of the digital photos that were lost along with her camera posted to Allison's online photo account. How? Well, she had a special type of memory card in the camera from a company called iFi. To help you stay organized, the card automatically uploads pictures to the Internet whenever it comes in contact with a wireless network. Now, the biggest surprise, in addition to photos of her son, pictures of two men she'd never seen before. Not only were they pictures of the guys that stole my camera, they were actually holding my big digital SLR, which is like a $1,000 camera. And I'm like, oh, my God, so now... I'm jumping around my office going, what do we do? What do we do? Hi, this is Allison Delazon. Allison sent the pictures to the restaurant where she'd last seen her camera, and the man in the photos was identified as their head waiter. So you had a gotcha moment. I got him. Allison's cameras were returned immediately. She decided not to press charges, but the waiter was fired. Each year, millions of digital cameras, laptops, and iPods are lost or stolen. But now, the Internet is actually helping people track and reclaim their gear. These guys were busted with stolen laptops when the owner connected to the lost machine remotely, turned on the webcam software, and snapped pictures of the thieves, caught red-handed. And now there are even tracking programs that you install on your gear to help recover them in case of loss. Pay $13 a year to a company called Gadget Track, and your iPod, laptop, or cell phone can contact you if it falls into the wrong hands. Gadgets that connect to the Internet for convenience can now call home. I really felt like I was saved. I felt like the, the weight of the world was, like, released from me. I had everything back, and it was just uh, a sigh of relief. Now, as I mentioned in the piece, Allison's camera sort of accidentally alerted her to the fact that the bad guys had her gear, but there is software out there you can buy to protect your gadgets, Robin. Okay, so how would that tracking software work? Well, so in the case of a laptop, I've got mine here, there's three things that the remote software could be triggered to do, all just as soon as this connects up to the Internet. First, it finds an IP address. That's the unique address where this computer is logged on. With a subpoena, law enforcement can find the physical address where this is connected to the Internet, where the bad guys have logged on. Next, it can use this built-in camera to record video or pictures of the people who have your stolen gear, or it can erase the entire disk so that all the contents, your sensitive data, is protected. You love your technology, don't you, Becky? Geeky, geeky, geeky. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. Have a good day, Becky. Appreciate that. Bye. Enlightening indeed. Next, we check in with Jessica Simpson as she